This little device is called the Insight Home. Schneider sells it as part of the Schneider family of products, the XW Pro inverter and the charge controllers, so that you can communicate between them, you can program them, you can check out what's going on with them uh, monitoring uh, locally and through the internet. All those are great features. Uh, however, this is also the number one reason I didn't want to buy a Schneider. Here we go. Hi, I'm David and I'm on a mission to take my house and garage off grid. I'm currently testing the Schneider family products. This is the Schneider inverter, the XW Pro 6848, and the PDP or power distribution panel. Today, we're going to take a close look at the Insight Home and install it. And hopefully, if that all goes well, we'll update the firmware on this inverter. Let's take a look at what's inside the box of the Insight Home. We have a quick start guide. This is not the manual. You download the manual on the internet. Uh, this is just a guide to get you going. We have a template. So we've got an electrical port and then the Insight Home. We've got a barrel plug for a DC power supply, the ZAN bus port. This is going to connect up to the Schneider products. Uh, this port is going to connect up to your computer. Uh, then we've got the terminals where you can put in additional wiring, the USB port, and a power switch. There's one LED, which is that I, and it can uh, be solid or blink depending on what it's trying to communicate. The back side, you're going to have uh, all the serial numbers and stuff, which I taped off because that's going to be unique for my situation. And there we go. All right. I just took out the screws from the back. Let's take a look inside. Well, I'm not really sure what we're looking at. I know that we have a bunch of ports. I think that's a buzzer. Uh, we have a Wi-Fi antenna, a battery, I assume, for keeping time on a clock. So please let me know what you guys think. Uh, how well is this constructed? Uh, I'm not a computer engineer, so I really don't know. Before you mount the Insight Home, make sure you take a photo of the back. Uh, there's like Mac ID address and stuff, which I assume we're probably going to need when we plug it into the computer. Uh, I'm going to mount it directly underneath the wireway. The wireway is underneath the inverter, and the wireway came with the PDP. So I'm going to mount it right here against the uh, back wall. The Insight Home came with a little template. I think that'll look good right there. I've turned off all the power for the inverter. Underneath the inverter, this is where the communication ports line up. And we have two that are ZAN bus right there in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is run a ethernet cable down. I'll take off this back tray and we'll pop out this uh, three quarter inch knockout and put in a bushing. So let's go ahead and do that now. I picked up an assortment of ethernet cables. These are Cat 5E. Uh, this is a three foot one. Let's see if the three foot one makes it. If it doesn't, then I also have some five foot cables. Uh, and I'm told that these are just regular ethernet cables. There's nothing special to them. All right, so here's the five foot cable. Got that plugged in. That looks good. All right, on the base of the inside home, you can see it says Zanbus right there. So we'll plug it in. Now we're not quite done. We need to terminate the daisy chain. Now the inside home is self-terminating, but up here on the inverter, 
there are two ZAN bus ports. Uh, one of them needs to be terminated to show that it's not going off to another piece of equipment. The inverter came with a little terminator, and according to one of the webinars that I watched, Schneider does not sell these separately, so if you lose it, I have no idea what you do. <laughs> so please don't lose this. It comes with the inverter. The Insight Home does not come with a spare. This little ferrite core came with the inverter, so hopefully you haven't lost it since unboxing the inverter. Put that around there. There we go. And it wants to slip down. So I'll add a little piece of electrical tape There we go. So now it won't slip down. Uh, so the manual says that this needs to be up close to the inverter. So there we go. So the inside home is wired in and the inverter is currently off. I've got the big 250 amp circuit breaker on and we're going to turn on the battery now. And this is going to, the, the batteries have pre-charged resistors built in. Get all that. And now this is going to be doing a boot menu. While it's doing the boot menu, let's go over to the laptop. And there is an XW Pro commissioning guide. And I'll leave a link for this in the description below. Now the first thing that it wants you to do is download the latest firmware. So let's uh, go to that. This firmware that I'm downloading is for the inverter. Downloads. Something in here, come on, firmware. So now we're downloading our firmware. 120 only, it looks like, 122.40. So let's download that one. Okay, we're downloading it. Next, I need to download the firmware for the Insight Home. I'm not sure where that is. Let's go back to the last page. I'm not seeing it here, so let's go back again. And over here it says Insight Energy Management, so maybe it's under that. Okay, and then if we scroll down, it says Insight Home and Insight Facility. So I have the Insight Home. Let's scroll down. And yes, now we have firmware, and we'll download that one. Now that we've downloaded the firmware, let's go on to step number two. And it says update the firmware. And then they've got a uh, video here on how to do that. We watched the video, it actually says to uh, find the wireless signal for the Insight Home. So let's see here. Oh, there it is, it just came up. So let's click on that and connect. Now this security key is going to be on the back of the Insight Home. And let's see if I chose the correct thing. I, I don't know. What the answer is here. No, I don't think so. And it's thinking. What do we got? Isn't secure. So up here I just typed in that number and that was on the back of the Insight Home and I'm about to press enter. It says not private something another. All right, so then we go this thing and proceed. Okay, I clicked on it. Let's see if it works. All right, and then I think I remember this. This was in that little video. Uh, so if we go back over here, we've got this little video. Maybe it won't work now that I, oh yeah, because I linked up to the other thing. 
So this was like admin 123. So let's try that. Admin 123. All right. And so it says change the password. Okay. All right. So it was admin 123. So let's see here. Admin 123. And now I wish I could just type in admin123 again. <laughs> All right, let's change this up to something different. Log in. And now I gotta pretend that I actually read these things. And, and now we're in. Now that we're in, let's go up here to devices. We gotta find our insight. No, this is the XW Pro Schneider's Commissioning Guide says I need to update the firmware on the Insight Home before I update the inverter. So I'm trying to find the Insight Home right now. Hmm, under here I can see the firmware for the inverter. Looks like I have the third version. I will be updating that later, but again, I gotta find the the way to update the Insight Home, where is that? Well, it's not under the Device tab, so let's try these other tabs and see what we can find. Well, everybody, I stopped recording for a little bit as I switched the laptop back over to the internet. So I disconnected from the Insight Home, went to the internet, and they said it's under the Setup tab. Uh, Schneider does <laughs> lay all this stuff out, but uh, it's just a lot to remember all at once. So. Uh, under the setup tab and then we go to install package so let's click on this and it doesn't seem to be working so let me try to figure out what's going on now it took me a while to figure out why this was not working it turns out when you download the files, they are compressed, and I need to uncompress them in order to be able to use them. Uh, so I went ahead and took the time to make everybody a PowerPoint presentation so that you can follow along with me. So here we go. Uh, go into uh, this thing. I think it's called File Explorer. You can type in File Explorer or find it in the Start menu, but you need to get into the File Explorer and find the Downloads folder. Once you open up the downloads folder, you should be able to see the two uh, compressed or zipped uh, firmwares. So I have one for the uh, Insight Home and I have another for the inverter. Uh, and then this pops up and then you go into it again. As you'll notice, there are two things. One is like a readme file, that one's not important. But the other one is the actual firmware. Uh, for the Insight Home, it's got this kind of e-package uh, format to it. And then what I did, and I don't know if this is the right process or not, but it worked for me, is I opened a second uh, window and created a new folder called Firmware Unzipped. Uh, so I had that on my desktop. And then I clicked on the ePackage file, uh, click hold, and then I dragged it over into the new folder that I created and let go of the cursor, uh, the mouse, and it moved it over, but in the process, it unzipped it. Uh, so I then repeated that process again for the firmware for the uh, inverter, which now is not an ePackage uh, format, but it's some other format. Anyways, they're both, they're both firmwares. <laughs> so once I put them into this new folder that I created, well, now they're unzipped. And then I was able to uh, go into that to pull them into the Insight Home to update the firmware. And finally, <laughs> uh, that meant that it worked. Uh, now, I'm sure a lot of you guys watching uh, think that was pretty obvious, but it was not obvious to me. Uh, but I uh, figured it out eventually after a long process of searching online. <laughs> I'll click uh, restart. I don't know, I'm guessing here. Oh. Are you sure you want to restart? It's it's calling it the gateway. It's not, I thought, I thought it was called the Insight Home at this point. Restarting, okay. 
And while it's restarting, this turned to orange. All right, this went from orange to off for a minute, and now it's blinking green. Maybe it'll turn solid green, and, uh, and then I'll be able to keep on rolling. Oh, I just heard it beep. All right, so we got a solid green. And we got the website back up. And up here, version 1.16. Excellent, so that is the current version of the Insight Home. Let's see here. All right, let me try to click on this. All right. I wasn't sure that was a button at first, but I've just been randomly pressing different things. All right, so I just noticed up here at the top, it says firmware. Okay, and it says that I'm on version 1.03, but I think the current version is 1.11, version 11. So let's see if we can do this here. Upgrade, I only have one. It says power will be lost, yep, okay. Scroll down here, click open. And what's it doing now? I heard the inverter shut off. The transformer was humming. Oh, awesome. The firmware actually worked. So I'm out here in the garage and I just heard the inverter kick back on. All right, with that firmware all set, uh, what's our next task here? So now that the inverter has an updated firmware, Next thing to do is restore factory defaults. Uh, so let me see if I remember what the instructions said. Uh, is it configuration? I think it might be configuration, let's see here. And then down here it says controls. And somewhere in here it's supposed to be like restore factory. Is it this? So reset all settings to factory. Okay, apply. I don't know. Okay. Retrieving data from device. So now it's thinking. Uh, this part wasn't very clear. The commissioning guide said to do this, but the uh, webinar little video did not show this part. So I don't know if it's 100% necessary, but it was written in the commissioning guide, which was on the other tab, so that's why I'm doing it. Okay, it says here, device refresh finished. All right, I know I'm supposed to set the region code, so I'm not really sure. I think, let me try this one, set up. All right, so region settings. So maybe that's what I'm looking for here. All right, so now I'll type in the same password, X, W, go. Select a region. Now it says that if you're, if you're off grid. All right, so let's try this for off grid. Applying. Yeah, okay. And apply. Hey, it's thinking. I'm not really sure if that was everything. Uh, there's probably still more I need to do, but it looks like we did successfully install the Insight Home, update the firmware on the Insight Home, and we've updated the firmware on the inverter. 
Uh, so we can set up additional controls at this point and monitoring, uh, but that will be in an upcoming video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoy the videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.